Yesterday, baseball's number four overall prospect and the Cincinnati Reds' number one overall prospect, shortstop Ellie De La Cruz, got the call to the show. Do you, you have all your stuff here? To bring your video games? I don't know whose bag is this up? Whose bag is this up? Uh, the tag says Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz, your bags are here. You gotta go to Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> At 21 years old, standing in at 6'5", 200 pounds, Ellie is being referred to by some as a switch-hitting Tatis with upside. He's the king of stat cast, and Reds people described him to me last week as a switch-hitting Tatis with upside. Oh, is that all? How's that sound? He's also being compared to the Pirates phenom shortstop O'Neill Cruz. Ellie walked in his first career plate appearance. His second plate appearance, he ripped a double into the gap at 112 miles per hour off the bat while turning on the Jets and getting up to 30.4 feet per second on his way to second base. 30.4 feet per second ties him with Bobby Witt Jr. and Bubba Thompson as the fastest sprint speeds in the major leagues this year. And his 112 exit velocity was the highest by any Reds player this year. Then in game number two in just his sixth plate appearance of his career. Anticipation to see what- Oh goodness! <laughs> In plate appearance number six, he hit a home run off of Noah Syndergaard that landed in the last row of Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, almost leaving the entire stadium. The ball left his bat at 114.8 miles an hour and traveled 458 feet. This is the seventh longest distance on any player's first career home run in the last 15 seasons and is the second hardest hit home run by any Reds player during the StatCast era. This home run is also tied for the 16th hardest hit ball in the major leagues all year. Lark Statcast projected that ball to go nearly 460 feet. Oh my goodness, that ball is destroyed. If you thought that was it, well, he wasn't done. In his second at bat in his second game, he also logged his first career triple. Dale Cruz passes to right center. Is he for real? He's gonna go three. On this triple, Ellie went from home to first in 4.39 seconds, home to second in 7.47 seconds, and home to third in 10.83 seconds, which is the fastest home to third time in Major League Baseball this year. And the second fastest home to third since the start of 2020, just behind Corbin Carroll. And turns out that on this triple, he actually recorded the fastest sprint speed in Major League Baseball this year at 30.9 feet per second. And Ellie is just the fifth player in MLB history to record a double, triple, and home run within his first two career games. Guys, if Ellie De La Cruz is up to bat, you cannot miss it. Are we just going to have to get used to your thinking third base all the time on the triple? This is not an easy part to hit a triple in, but are we just going to have to get used to that you may not stop? Siempre estoy pensando para pa tercera que lo para el ga. Siempre. I'm, I'm always thinking about a triple or getting the third base once I hit it in the cap, always. Be on the lookout for my Ellie De La Cruz player profile, which I'll be dropping this weekend, where I'll talk through exactly how Ellie got to this point. Make sure to like and subscribe for more baseball content throughout the season, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, goodbye, Zoni. Don't forget it. <laughs>